Well, I cannot believe how quickly the hour has flown by hanging out here on the Rockin' Express. That's right. We're here with Stephanie Pratt on her party bus, and uh, we've got more to talk about with you. Of course. I always have a lot to talk about. <laughs> That's right. I think well, I actually give you a lot this hour. <laughs> you, you, you have given us a ton, and it's all good stuff. So tell us about the Stephanie Pratt Holiday meal giveaway that you have going on? Well, as I have made a comment before, I started in 2020 when we just had so many people by themselves. They were alone. They weren't with families. And I was always, I grew up with people at my family dinners, which I didn't even know who they were because my parents had apartments and they would bring some random stranger home and we'd be doing Thanksgiving and Christmas with them. So with everybody being so down and so alone, I just wanted to do something. I felt mm. here I am blessed. My family's still together, but so many people just didn't feel like they could. Mm. So I got with some restaurants, um, Buford, Jeff Buford's, he's great. Um, Coca-Cola, there's some other uh, sponsors that are going to go on with me. Um, Tapman's, um, BC Bank, there's there's quite a few actually that are going to go on and I'll actually list those on my website. Um, but what we do is we get meals together and we have people enter to win on my website. They are not going on a mailing list. They are not going to be shared. Their names aren't. This is very sensitive to people. So I want them to feel that they can say, hey, I need a meal or nominate somebody. And then what I'll do is I'll coordinate it and I'm going to, I get with the police officers locally to deliver. And Tapman's Towing helps out with the out outlying with the Sheriff's Department. And so I thought that's a good way to actually get them involved, feed the community, give back, and have some feel good. Well, that's really everybody. interesting because it's not only, you know, feeding the community, but you're bringing the community together around this because you're involving the police, different businesses, local businesses, brands that people recognize, and we're, they're all gathering together to make this happen. Well, everybody wants to do something nice. Yeah. It's not, you know, they know that they're not going to get the names on a mailing list, which that's what happens sometimes when you do these things. I don't want any of that. This is basically, I'm the only one that actually has those names except the officers that get that sheet to deliver. Now, you mentioned enter to win. So... How do people win? Well, really, if you put your name in there, and it's Champaign County only. I cannot go outside of Champaign County because we just don't have the resources since it is police departments actually delivering and they have jurisdictions and so on. Um, so they just go on my website and really enter to win. If you put your name in and you're within that jurisdiction, you're getting a meal. I need to know how many people, and I it's all spelled out on my website as far as all that. So okay. I just want to make sure that people actually have a little bit better holiday cheer because some of the stories I'm getting are literally heartbreaking. And of course, I'm the only one that knows them. Well, yeah, and coming out of COVID still, there's some people mm -hmm. that are experiencing this impact for the first time. They haven't had food scarcity or been without food before. And so when you're experiencing a hardship for the first time, it can be extra terrifying. Yeah. Well, the food costs are outrageous. Yeah. I mean, I'm a cook. I love and, you know, I love to cook. I'm always doing something like that. But I just cannot believe, I mean, I don't know how people are actually affording it this year. But that's why if we can do that, we usually give a ham. They have mashed potatoes, green bean casserole. Yes, that's one of my favorites. So, you know, I know Mine that's too. a big thing. Um, but it just depends. And then I think we've got apple dumpling on board to actually do the desserts this year. Oh, Coca-Cola to do some two liters. Two men in a truck always uh, donate their facility to put them together. It's very organized, very quick, and we just get it going. Okay. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. It is. It's very it's very quick. I mean, we have them put together in about an hour, and That's then amazing. the officers come, here's your sheet, here's your bags, and they go out. And I wish we could get pictures with people actually receiving them, yeah. but it's so sensitive. The I privacy don't want to do that. privacy is important. Absolutely. All right, tell us a little bit about how people can um, enter. You mentioned your website, but when is the deadline and when is delivery day? I need the deadline to be the third week in December. So really about like the, probably the 15th, 16th. Um, if I get a couple after that, that's fine, but we need to actually plan for the food. So that's really the bulk. So they go to my website, stephaniepratholmes.com. There's an enter to win and it's really enter to win, but it's really a sign up thing. And that's just how it's all set up. So I need full addresses and email and phone number. I need to be able to contact the people to know that they've actually Actually, they're getting a meal and when it's going to be delivered. It's a time frame. It's usually between noon and three. And if there's any problems with the officers, um, with because if they get called out, like sometimes they're picking it up and all of a sudden they get a radio call, <laughs> like, and they're gone. Yeah. And yeah. so it's really kind of neat, though. I mean, they're so excited to be a part of it. And police officers are very important to our community. Yeah. Absolutely. And people can participate still and help oh, yeah, you out totally. make a difference so that then they can feel good, too. How do they need to do that well, to get involved? sponsors. I mean, I can still use sponsors and I can still use people donating and all the money goes there. If there's any money left over, it goes back into those people. I will buy gift certificates and actually send more gift certificates out if we actually have an overage of money. I, I don't keep any of that. So, right, so but. everything is going to help these families, mm -hmm. to help these folks that have a need. 
The first year, Jeff at Buford actually surprised me and said, don't, I'm not charging you for the food. I'm like, what? I'm like, what do I do with this money? That He goes, go buy gift certificates from some restaurants and give them extra. What so a I idea. sent them more gift certificates, and I'll tell you, they were so overwhelmed. And every once in a while, somebody Absolutely. does that. So if somebody wanted to actually say, hey, I don't want to necessarily be a money sponsor, but I want to give some gift certificates, yeah. I'm happy to put those yeah. in. And they're, everybody's name's on the sheet because we have instructions for reheating. I'm very big about that. How to reheat everything with microwave or oven because not everybody understands that. Yeah. All right. Well, we appreciate the work you're doing in Thank the community. You. Making the holidays a little bit brighter. And um, we've had the best time here. Thanks for hosting us hey, for our show today. Thanks for coming party. to Rockin' yes. Express. <laughs> she saved the day. If you want to learn more about everything happening with Stephanie Pratt, whether it be the party bus um, rental or the holiday meal giveaway, we'll have all of that at CILiving.tv.